Hi there, this is Farhan. I hope you are enjoying this video. Now I will show you how I made this reverse speed art. I think it's not a speed art, it's more like a setup. Anyway, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe my channel. It's free but it really helps me to create new videos for you. First I drew the shape or the structure. I used mostly the pen tool. I didn't need to use my tablet. Since there are no organic shapes, so mouse work just fine. I used red and yellow colors. Both red and yellow have different shades of colors for highlights and shadows. This armor is based on the old Iron Man movie that we saw in 2008. Of course I made some changes but it is similar to the old Iron Man. It took me some time to draw half of the body. But the good thing is I don't need to repeat the full process for the other half. Since both sides are symmetrical, therefore I just need to copy one side and then reflect it. To do that, select everything and then select the reflect tool. Place the anchor point here in the middle. Now hold all door option and drag to make a copy. You can hold shift to maintain a straight line. But as you can see there is a line in the middle. We need to remove that. We can easily do that by the shape builder tool. First select the shapes that we want to merge and then select the shape builder tool. And now just click and drag. If you hold alter option it will minus the selected shapes. But in this case we don't want to remove anything. This way we can join other areas. I also added some shadows and reflections on the other half so that both sides don't look exactly the same. So once the drawing is complete, I added a background. It's just a rectangle. Also I added a shadow here. I drew a circle, gave it a darker color and then lowered the opacity. I needed to lock the background so that it doesn't move accidentally when I move the subject. Ok now let's talk about our main subject. At first I thought I will include every shapes and strokes in the speed art. If I did that, this video will be more than 1 hour long and no one's gonna watch a 1 hour long speed art. If I open the document info, you will see the total number of shapes and strokes. Just this small part has 13 shapes and strokes. Let's see the whole body. There are total 584 paths. Open paths are the strokes and closed paths are the shapes. This arc reactor has 28 different objects. If I ungroup it, you can see all these paths. If I go to outline mode by pressing Ctrl or Command and Y, you can see every path clearly. So I group them into smaller parts. Don't remove his underwear. That's not an underwear. Yes it is. It's an iron underwear. Ok ok no need to worry. See there's no one inside. Anyway I grouped them in such a way that it can be placed one after another and at the same time it doesn't have any excess parts behind one object like you normally see on a complex illustration. Let me show you again. Suppose I take this part and ungroup it. I group them together to reduce the speed art duration. Once the drawing is complete, I need to make sure the real time drawing is checked. If I turn it off and try to move one object, you will see only the path is moving. Once I place the object, only then you can see it placed. To turn this option on, go to edit, preferences and then select performance. Make sure real time drawing and editing is checked. By the way, this feature is introduced in 2020 March update. Ok now if I move something, you are not seeing any paths. You can see it in real time. At first I forgot to turn this option on and the speed art looks like this. This doesn't look good at all. Real time drawing works when you have a small number of paths. If I want to move a large object like the whole body, real time drawing option will automatically turn off. See it doesn't work on large number of paths or objects. But if you have a powerful system then it should work even if you move large number of paths or objects. Since I am working on a 9 years old computer so I don't expect much from this. 
The next thing I wanted to do is to turn off the smart guys. I don't want those pink lines show up. You can turn off these smart guys from view and then click again smart guys. You can also customize it from preferences tab. Also I want to hide those paths. Press Ctrl or Command and H to hide paths. Since I want to reverse the drawing or setup or whatever you say, that means the first thing I will remove will be placed at the very end and vice versa. I want the arc reactor to be placed at the end. So I need to remove it first. Then suppose the face and so on and so forth. So I just need to remove all those bars and then reverse the video. If I have all those objects messed up on the screen and then it would be almost impossible to place it correctly. So the easy way was to reverse it. Can you build me an armor like this for me? Yes, of course, I was thinking about that. Let me see what can I do for you. Oh, here we go. Do you like it? Yes, but it's too big for me. Make it a smaller. To make it a smaller, first select everything. Hold shift to maintain the proportion and then click and drag. But if I zoom in, you can see the stroke size remains the same. Let's first undo it by pressing Ctrl and Z. Open Transform. If you can see it here, then go to Windows and then select Transform. Now click this pop-up menu and select Scale Strokes and FX. Now if I make it smaller, those strokes will maintain the proportion. Okay, back to our main subject. When everything is complete, I open Premiere Pro. Here we have the clip. We need to reverse it. Drag the video clip to our timeline. Since there is no sound, so the audio file isn't necessary. Now right click and select speed duration. Suppose I want to play it 3 times faster. So I will just type speed 300%. Then check reverse speed. Now hit OK. Now everything is reversed. Remember what I said? I want the arc reactor to be placed at the very end and here it is. I added some sound effects to make it more interesting. This is what the timeline looks like at the end. This includes the how to section as well. So this is how I made the reverse speed art. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.